Not even five minutes on the trail and I already had my first wildlife encounter. Chubby little raccoon catching a drink in the creek there. I don't know if I got him on film or not though. He's kind of hanging out in the weeds by the time I got the camera out. Hopefully I did, but if not, sorry. I'll try and catch the next one for you. I am at Los Hills State Forest in the Preparation Canyon unit. I'm not at Preparation Canyon State Park though. I am just in the forest. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if I'm on a trail. <laughs> There's gravel underneath me, so that's a good sign. There's also a lot of grass. We're gonna do some hiking and have some fun. Well now, are my eyes mistaken? So did I happen to mention that it's about 97 degrees out? Uh, not prime hiking weather, especially when you hit some of these, these really bright sunny open areas. It gets a little warm. It's not bad in the shade in the woods, but you get out here and it bakes a little bit. The bigger concern is, aside from where I parked, I haven't seen a whole lot of water. So. I've kind of been rationing myself trying to find water. I may end up not being able to stay unless I can find water somewhere else. Because 97 degrees is too damn hot for two smart water bottles. So, I guess we'll cross that bridge when it comes. It's about 7.05 ish. I'm pretty short on water, but I'm not that far from the car. And, well, to be honest, I'm not that far off trail. I'm pretty much on trail. But you know what? This was the best spot I could find. And I'm guessing I'm not going to see anybody. If I do, well, my bad. I'm going to make some supper. Possibly walk down the hill and see how close I am to that creek that the raccoon was in. See if I can't get some water and... Try and relax for the night. I seem to have made quite a few friends overnight. Not sure if I'm in their spot or what. Wow, it's like uh, nine o'clock in the morning. Slept late. I don't get to sleep that late at home. Of course, for some reason, I could not fall asleep last night. I uh, last time I looked at the clock, it was like one in the morning. I had dozed off for a little bit when I first got in the hammock. I was listening to uh, an audio book. Then I woke up and the sun hadn't quite set all the way yet. And that was all she wrote. I was probably asleep for 40 minutes and then I was up for five hours. I, I don't know why. I stared at the stars. I edited video. Uh, just couldn't sleep. But boy, did I sleep once I did.
So I found the creek in the water, but it's only 9.15, 9.30. I've walked about a mile from where I camped. Um, and it's already easily 90 degrees. And it's, uh, I'll tell you what, I can put up with one discomfort, but not two together. So I couldn't handle having to lay down in the tall grass to get water because there's just no way to access it without doing so. And being sticky from being hotter than a blankety blank. I just, I, I can't do both. So it was one or the other, and if I'm going to have to do both to survive, well, I guess, I guess I'll call it. I got back to the field on the far end of where I parked, and the only way I was getting water was to lay down in some seriously tall grass. And like I mentioned, I, I, I mean, I understand that on a through hike or a section hike, you know, like we're planning on the first six sections of the Colorado Trail here in a couple of weeks, or there could be days when there's multiple miserable things. But I'm out here for a little bit of weekend relaxing and I just, I don't need to be 85 degrees sopping, sopping with sweat, itchy from that, drippy, everything else, and then lay down in the grass and be itchy from that for the next two hours. I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not that motivated. If I'd have been further away from the car and whatever, then I would have done it, but knowing full well that the car was half a mile away, it was just not worth it. So, But well, the next video will probably be a uh, Colorado Trail gear video. And then after that, I'll have a couple of section hike videos coming out. So make sure you check back. Appreciate you watching. And even on a hot day like today, man, I wish you were here.